Sometimes you want to create a roll or a full length plot of your whole project and put it all onto one 36 inch wide roll plot. So let's take a look at how we could do that. I'm going to go over to our plan view drawing and let's create it in that one. This is the drawing we were using earlier that we laid out the single plan and the double plan sheets in. Again, just a convenient place to put it since I'm going to lay out a single plan roll plot. It's not important that it go to this file. could go into any file we wanted. We'll lay out our name boundary. We'll lay it out just like we're laying out any other plan boundary. We'll select the plan mode. We're going to lay out a plan boundary. I don't have a seed file set up for this. We don't deliver one within the workspace because it's not something I do all the time. But I want to show you how you could go ahead and create one if you did want to do that. So we'll pick our alignment that we want to base this on, free up my start station, and I'm going to start my sheet at the beginning of the project. Now from here, I want to start making some adjustments to these parameters to get one big sheet that covers the whole project. Well, first of all, let's change our boundaries to zero, our boundary cords, so we're getting a rectangular sheet. And now second, I need to make sure that sheet's long enough because I don't want four sheets along here. I want one big sheet. So I need to be, you know, three and a half times or so the length that I've got now. Let's try about a 5,000 foot length here. That actually lays out reasonably well, so we could try that. We might even be able to offer in a couple of hundred feet of overlap here to get that beginning to pop on there a, a little bit before the end there. So we start getting a sheet that looks pretty reasonable the way we're laying it out. Scale may not be quite what we want. It's getting a little tight here on this side. So maybe we want to increase the scale of this sheet. Well, that scale looks a little bit better, but our length got adjusted. So let's re-edit our length. So you can see it's fairly easy to sit here and test some different values to get something that's going to lay out and work fairly well for you. Maybe we wanted a little bit more distance here at the beginning of this, so I'm going to add a little bit more overlap into there. Yeah, that's laying out pretty well for me. I'm happy with that. I can go ahead and create that sheet. Now, I may want to give it a nice name so I know what it is. Uh, we'll just call this Roll Plot, and we'll let that sheet get created. I'll go ahead and let that sheet create the actual sheet layout since it's the only one we want to create. It's just one single sheet for the whole project and now we've got it into a sheet format. Now a couple adjustments here that we're going to make. Again remember we didn't have a seed file set up specifically for this. We're using a seed file that was set up for a standard size plan sheet so it's gone ahead and added a plan border around it and such. We may want to get rid of that Perhaps you have another border, you want to stretch this out and wrap it around the whole thing. You could certainly do that. Uh, I'm just going to delete that and say, well, I don't really want that border on there. So I can get rid of that. I just want my roll plot. Now, the other thing that I need to adjust is the actual sheet size, because this is set up to go to the printer. I think this is a 24 by 36 inch sheet here. So I may want to adjust that. So I could go to my sheet boundary. And I could adjust the size of it. This is no longer going to be an ANSI D sheet. It's going to be a custom size sheet because I want the full roll plot of it. The 22 inch width is still going to be correct, but the 34 inch uh, dimension in this direction needs to increase. So maybe I need 50 or 60 inches. We'll just try 60 here and see how that works. All right, that's plenty big enough. I could have made it a little bit smaller. I could go back and adjust that again if I wanted. Um, but quickly I've got something that's laid out. It's got the proper sheet size or a usable sheet size around it that I could send off to a printer. Now I could process the same thing in a profile area if I wanted. The process is going to be very much the same. Go in, lay it out with your profile, adjust the length of the profile sheet. When you get it into your actual sheet file itself, you might have to do a little tidying up but you can create role, plan, and profiles very easily in this manner. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, 
consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.